Well, it's been a fixture in the Red Wing community for more than a century. Josephson's, a men's clothing store, served its final customers today as the current owner is retiring. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell reports, the business leaves behind countless memories in the community. In Red Wing. Everybody comes here, I think. Joseph Sons is sewn into the community. Been here for ever. As seamless as the suits they sold. Everybody knows Tom. <laughs> Alfred Joseph Son opened the store in 1878. Tom Withers and his wife Denise took over in 1992. They told us when we bought it we could change the name, change anything we wanted to. And I looked at my wife and I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But after three decades of upholding the Joseph Sons' legacy of customer service and fair prices, the store is closing and loyal customers are saying goodbye to a place that was more than a sale, but an experience. It was like he had a knack for when I was coming in. He seemed to have a shirt and tie laying there for me. And if he didn't, we'd find something. I've been so humbled by my customers that uh, it's made it hard. The first time somebody brought a plant in or a card for me, I just about cried. Tom will spend his retirement with his two children and three grandchildren. This is Lane. It also comes just in time for a milestone wedding anniversary. As of next Friday, it will be 45 years. And uh, 45 wonderful years. And that's. That's the God honest truth. It'll still be Josephson's to a lot of people here. An end of an era, but for Tom, <laughs> the start of a new chapter. I wish sometimes the walls could talk, because I'm sure Alfred and, and the fathers before Tom, they've got stories to tell about stuff in here, too. So. In Red Wing, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. A new owner bought the store and plans to reopen it this fall under a new name, but is still offering similar menswear services. Josephson's had a customer appreciation event last week to say goodbye.